Good morning. Let's start with a tension release breath this morning. So we use this breath by inhaling larger than longer and larger than we normally inhale, expanding the chest both front and back and side to side, and then just completely releasing the exhale on its own. So the inhale is very active, but the exhale is very passive. So let's do that together. And you can sigh the breath out. And this next time that we do it, see if you can relax your jaw, relax your neck, relax your shoulders on the exhale. So again, deep inhale. Just letting it go. Let's do one more. And we'll bring our hands onto the lower dantian, left hand on bottom, right hand on top, interlock, interlocking the web of the thumbs. Just take a moment here to observe, observing sensations in the body. Just noticing how your energy is showing up right now. We'll do a little bit of box breathing here. So a box breath, we inhale to the count of four. You can do it longer or even shorter, just depending on what your breath pattern looks like. And then we hold to the count of four. And then we exhale to the count of four. And then we hold again to the count of four. So let's do this together. So we're gonna inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. So let's do this three more rounds on our own. Letting the breath sink into the belly. And we'll release the hands from the lower abdomen, bringing them down by our sides into Wuji posture. So the feet are shoulder distance apart, toes face forward, arms rest down by our sides with space in between the arms and the upper body so the energy can flow. And we'll use our attention and awareness to relax even more here. So we'll relax our jaw, relax the neck, relax the shoulders, relax the elbows, relax the wrists, relax the hips. Relax the tailbone. Relax the knees. Relax the ankles. Relax the toes. 
And tuck the chin in slightly so that there's length at the back of the neck. And then bring your tongue to touch the roof of your mouth. It's connecting the energy circuit in the body. Relax the chest so the breath can sink deeply into the belly. Just noticing the expansion of the belly on the inhalation and the gentle contraction of the belly on the exhalation. And last but not least, bring a smile to your face. Just bringing joyful energy to our practice. We're going to make a soft claw with our fingers. We're going to begin tapping on the lower ribs and right below the ribs on the spleen on the left and the liver on the right. So we can use our purging breath here. So taking a deep inhalation in through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. Let's do that two more times. Now we're going to take the tapping up to heart center. Continuing to breathe deeply. Deep inhalation. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Two more. Last one. We'll make a gentle fist with the hands and cross the hands over and we'll start knocking on the lung points in the nest of the shoulder. Now we'll release one hand and we're going to knock over the shoulder Coming onto the neck with a loose fist. And then we'll work our way down the inside of the arm. Coming to the inside of the elbow. Just pause here for a moment. And we'll wrap around to the outside of the elbow. And then back around to the inside. So moving down the inner arm, coming over to the thumb. We'll flip the hands, knocking on the back of the hand, the wrist, coming up the outside of the arm. Let's do that one more time. Moving down the inside, inside of the elbow, wrapping around to the outside, coming back around, down the forearm, over the thumb back of the hand, and up the outside of the arm. And let's just release our hands down by our sides. Just taking a breath here. Noticing sensations, differences between one side of the body and the other. Then we're going to switch sides. We're going to start knocking over the shoulder and back of the body. And then we'll come around, coming down the inside of the arm, the inside of the elbow. And wrap around, knocking the outside of the elbow. Coming back around to the inside. Working down the forearm and the thumb, flipping the pant hands, coming to the back of the arm, 
to the wrists and back up the outside of the arm. And one more time. Knocking and tapping is a great way to get the chi flowing in the body. And then we'll release. Let's use that tension breath again. Deep inhale, filling the chest with front and back, side to sides. Extra long inhale. And exhale, let it go. Two more. Relaxing the neck and shoulders, jaw on the exhale. And we'll lift one arm up, taking the side of our hands. We're going to knock on the armpit. And then let's slap down this side of the body three times, working the way down from the arm hit all the way to the hip in a downward motion. We begin again up at the arm hit. Do this three times. Last one. We'll release the hand down. Take a breath here. And then we'll take the opposite arm up, just beginning underneath the armpit. Again, we keep a loose wrist here. And then we're going to slap down three times, starting at the armpit, moving all the way to the hip. And then again, coming back up and starting at the arm hip, down to the hip. Last one. And we'll relax the arms down by our sides. Again, taking a breath, observing, noticing. Now we'll send some love to our kidneys. We're going to make the OK symbol. We're going to start at the kidneys. And then we'll knock gently down on either side of the spine, not on the spine, down to the sacrum. You can focus here on noticing the vibrations that are vibrating through the body as you knock up and down your spine. And we're gonna rub. So we're gonna rub in a circular motion moving the hands in towards the spine and then around. Then we'll breathe into our kidneys. So hold your hands over your kidneys. We'll inhale, you can tuck the tailbone here, rounding in the back, directing the breath to the back body. And then exhale, we come back to a neutral standing position. Let's do the knocking again with the OK symbol with the hands. Moving up and down on the other side of the spine. And then we'll rub in a circular direction, moving in towards the spine. You just feel the sensations of warmth. And then we're going to hold the kidneys and breathe into them. So you can tuck the tailbone on the inhalation, creating space at the back body. 
and exhale, coming back up to a neutral spine. We'll come back to center, bringing the hands down by our sides. Feet are hip distance apart. There's a slight bend in the knee. The tailbone sinks as the pubic bone lifts. Let's tuck our chin in slightly. And then just start shifting your weight forward and back. You'll notice as we shift forward and back, we start to make a spiral with our arms. So a gentle spiral, gathering chi from the earth. You can imagine that there's roots growing out from the bottoms of the feet deep down into the earth. We're stirring up this chi, gathering the chi into the palms of our hands. Start to notice sensations in the hands. Notice if there's sensations of warmth, or if it's cool. Notice buzzing and tingling that might feel electric, like yang energy. Maybe notice sensations that feel more magnetic, like yin energy. The more we practice, the more in tune we become to our own energy, and the better we become at circulating it through the body. So come to stillness, and then we're gonna start shifting, turning side to side, keeping the awareness in the lower abdomen and the lower dantian. We lead this motion, this movement from the lower Dantian, our energy center. So we'll pick up our momentum, making a gentle fist with the hands. We'll begin knocking on the lower abdomen and on the lower back. So the sea of chi on the front, our energy center, and the Mingmen points the door of life from the back of the body. You can play with shifting your weight side to side. So as we twist left, we shift the weight to the right. We twist right, we shift the weight to the left. The chin stays tucked in slightly. So there's the length at the back of the neck. Shoulders are relaxed. Jaw is relaxed. Belt. Breath is deep. Sinking into the lower dantian. So we're going to take it up a little higher, just Knocking over the rib cage, you can open your hands here, no longer a fist. And we're going to start pivoting and twisting our toes. You can lift the heel to move to one side and the other side. So we're opening up the groin, opening up the quad. Keep the toes planted on the floor and only Move the knee out to the side, opening up the hip. There's still a weight shift here, and we're still leading this motion, this movement from the lower dantian. Yeah. Okay, we'll slow this down. We're going to keep we're going to bring our feet back to stable. Then we're going to make this gentle fist and start knocking on the lung points. And we'll use the purging breath. So deep inhalation. And exhale, blow it out through the mouth. 
Two more. And last one. We're gonna bring our hands back down, knocking over the Ming Men point and the lower Dantian. And we'll begin to unwind, coming back to center. Just take a moment here, observing how you feel. Noticing sensations in the body. Noticing the quality of the breath. Noticing the quality of the thoughts. And now we'll do some chi clearing. So we'll begin by inhaling, bring the arms up to the height of the shoulders, and then exhale, let them just fall down. There's still a slight bend in the knees here. And this time we're gonna inhale, arms from the heights of the soldier, shoulders, and then exhale, we're gonna twist to one side as if you're tossing a ball. And then you inhale, bring both arms back up to the shoulders and exhale, twist in the opposite direction. Inhale, arms come up and exhale, we twist. So there's a little bit of a pumping in the legs and you can use imagery to clear your chi. So we're inhaling, and exhaling, letting go of any chi that is no longer serving us. You can imagine this stagnant chi that we're removing from the body as a dark gray color. And as you toss it away, it becomes lighter and lighter. So inhaling in through the nose and exhaling, blowing it out through the mouth. Start to slow it down. Come back to center and hold your hands towards the earth. And we're gonna take our hands behind us, just holding them right over the sacrum, palms come together, or if that's difficult on the shoulders, if it feels tight, or if you're tensing in the shoulders, then bring both the fists to touch. So again, we're in wuji posture, feet are hip distance apart, toes face forward, Slight bend in the knees, tailbone sinks as the pubic bone lifts. Tucking the chin in slightly. We'll take a deep inhalation. And exhale, allow your right ear to fall towards your right shoulder. Just stretching out the left side of the neck. You can tilt the head back and forth, just investigating Finding your best stretch. And 
And then inhalation, we'll take the head back in line with the spine. And exhale, we'll take the left ear towards the left shoulder, stretching out the right side of the neck, keeping shoulders relaxed. Breath is deep, sinking into the lower dantian. You can tilt and rock the head, finding your stretch. And then inhalation, we bring the head back in line with the spine. Both arms are going to come down by our sides. We're going to shake it out. So let's begin shaking in the fingers and the wrists. And then shaking into the elbows. Shaking into the shoulders. I'm going to shake into the hips. Shake into the knees. Shake into the ankles. So just letting go of any tension. It's a pretty breezy day outside. The wind's going to pick up. It's fall. The trees are letting go of the leaves. We can be like the trees and let go of anything that's not serving us right now. Let's use the sound of the lungs to purge right here. So deep in, the sound of the lungs is So we'll take a deep inhalation and we'll exhale with the sound of the lungs. So deep inhale. And Let's do that two more times. Last one. Just keep shaking for another moment. We'll start to slow the shaking down and come to stillness. We tune in to the buzzing and tingling, nervous, nervous system reset. We'll give ourselves a yin massage. So inhale. Arms rise up, gathering earth energy, bringing them, mixing with heavenly energy, bringing overhead, palms touch, draw them down, then draw it down the back of our neck. Then we'll sweep the arms to the front, sweeping down the front of the neck. The backs of the palms together, draw them down the midline of the body, and wrapping around to the kidneys, we rub the kidneys and that circular motion moving in towards the spine. Then we continue smoothing out the chi down the legs, wrapping over the toes, coming up the inside of the legs, and centering in the lower dantian. Let's do that two more times. Inhaling, arms rise up. Palms come to touch overhead. Exhale as we bring the palms down the back of the head. Sweeping around to the front of the neck. Kind of petting ourselves like a kitty cat. Back of the hands come together, wrapping around. Rubbing the kidneys, coming down the outsides of the legs, 
Wrapping around the toes, coming up the inside of the legs. And centering the chi in the lower dantian. Last one. Just smooth out our chi. We don't even have to touch the body. So we can practice without touching the body or continuing to touch the body, just whatever feels good to you. Just coming, centering, lower dantian. Just take a moment here. Just observe. Noticing how you feel. And we're going to hold our palms in front of the lower dantian, facing up towards the sky. We're going to inhale. Rising up to the height of the chest, we're going to flip our palms and sink down into the earth. And then exhale, we come back to neutral spine, standing, flip the palms at the height of the chest, coming back down in front of lower dantian. Inhale. And exhale. There's times as our arms rise up, we'll leave the right arm up. We'll exhale, drawing the left hand down the midline of the body. We'll then press through the left and press through the right. Inhale, both arms come through center. And exhale, switching sides, pressing through the left, pressing through the right. So there's a slight shift side to side. Our hips are drawing a figure eight. Just do one more on each side. And we'll bring hands to center. And then face them towards the earth. We're going to inhale, let both arms rise up, hips move forward, we sink slightly, and then exhale, we come back to neutral spine. Inhale, arms rise to the height of the shoulders, hips move forward, and then exhale, we come back up to standing. So you can bend into the knees slightly on the inhale and gently straighten them on the exhale. So there's this wave-like motion in the back. 
she moves in waves in the body. And we can get it flowing by moving our body like waves. And we can start to feel the wave-like sensations even when we're not moving. Now let's take the right hand up, and as we do that, we're gonna shift our weight to the left, and then switching side, left arm comes up, switching weight to the right. So one hand at a time, flowing through this movement. See if you can slow it down. Make my weight shift shifted. Come to center. Now we're just going to inhale, backs of the hands move up, center line of the body, exhale, palms come down. A little fountain. Great way to coax the energy up through the spine. So we inhale, arms come up, exhale as they come down. And exhale, holding the hands towards the earth. We'll disperse the chi. Inhale, draw the chi out the center of the body. Exhale, send the chi out, grounding in the chest. Inhale, sweep arms out and up and around. We spiral the fingers as so we come forward, gathering chi from the earth, bringing up to the lungs. Holding here, sweeping it down the front of the body, arms come up, exhale down. Again, dispersing the chi, inhaling, drawing it up the center of the body, exhaling, sending it out, sharing, spreading the chi all around us, gathering chi. Washing down the front of the body. Arms come up. Exhale down. Again, disperse. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one.
in the hands around a ball of chi in front of the lower abdomen. And we'll begin pulsing on this ball of chi. So inhaling, arms open, exhaling, palms come closer towards each other. And imagine that there's little strings attached to the palms and the elbows. They're guiding this movement. And start to notice sensations in the palms. And notice sensations in the lower dantian as we pulse on this ball of chi. And we'll hold the hands still in front of us and pulse three times. Now we're going to roll this ball, bringing right hand on top, left hand on bottom. Pulse three times. And moving in the opposite direction, keeping this palm facing palm connection, you pulse three times. Now we'll rotate this ball, bottom to top, top to bottom, refining the chi. And start to make this ball smaller, condensing the chi, making it smaller and smaller until it's a small, bright pearl of condensed chi. We'll take it and we'll place it in the lower dantian. And then we'll nourish this chi. So Massaging up the right side of the abdomen, moving over to the left, working in the direction of digestion. And moving in the opposite direction, condensing the chi. So we'll start to make this circle smaller. Smaller and smaller until our hands are just moving right over the navel. And just hold here for a moment. Let's circulate all this beautiful energy through the body using the practice of the microcosmic orbit. So you're gonna hold your hands, palms facing palm in front of the lower dantian. We're gonna take this energy inside, moving it from the lower dantian down to the cranium, and then inhaling, drawing it up the back of the spine, bringing it up to heart center, and then head, so moving through the three dantian, and then exhaling, imagining it washing down the front of the spine. So inhaling, moving from lower dantian, up middle dantian, upper dantian, and exhaling down. And the inhale, you can even um, lift the pelvic floor. It's just helping coax this energy up. And exhaling, we release as it washes down the front of the spine. Let's do one more. Then we'll bring both palms to face up in front of the lower dantian to center our energy. Inhale, sweep the right arm out to the side and around and exhale, draw it down to the center line of the body. And switch sides, inhaling left arm. Sweeps up and around. And exhale down, center line of the body. Now 
last one. We'll take our hands, place them over the lower deck. Yeah, stepping both feet together. Allow yourself just to rock and sway like a bamboo in the winds. Letting the energy go where it knows to go. And come to stillness. Observe how you feel. Hopefully we feel energized, but yet calm and relaxed. Allow this sensation to imprint on your mind, taking it with you for the rest of your day, knowing that it's always here, always available to you. Thank you for practicing. Have a wonderful day.